as well. But I'm delighted to say that right now we're going to welcome Justin Urquhart Stewart, uh, who's an economist and a man of many parts. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Good looking morning. resplendent in your red braces, I must say. Um, front page of the Daily Express today, Jeremy Hunt promises major tax cuts and sends a bold message on the pension triple lock. He says it's an absolute priority for the government to cut tax. Well, he keeps saying it, but he keeps not doing it. Well, in theory, actually, we'll see those national insurance ta tax cuts coming through today. Today, yes. But was, well, so maybe people can tell me if you're feeling flush, are you going to go down the boozer and buy your mates a big round of drinks? Are you going to take the wife out for dinner? What are you going to do with all this extra money you've got? And that's the bit. You can tax cuts all you like, unless people actually turn around and say, I'm feeling confident, I feel better off, yeah. and therefore I'm going to go out and enjoy myself. It doesn't work. I don't know anyone that feels better off. No, no one does at the moment. OK, it's been a bad winter and all those sort of things. Mm. But people at the moment, you can sit there and say, well, they could cut a couple of uh, pence off this, a couple of pence off that. And there's people actually feeling positive. Yes. And things are growing and it's enthusiastic. And that is, is, it can be you know, infectious. Yes. It's equally the other it's way around. It's an interesting thing, isn't it? Because it is all about, as you say, it's about the mood that you're in. And Absolutely. the city reacts to that yep. as well. I mean, I should know the answer to this, but I don't. So I'm going to ask you. How's the stock market doing? Is that doing well at the moment? Are people's pensions getting boosted? Well, What's I, happening? Yeah, the stock market's doing, be doing well, but actually not actually in the UK. Everywhere right. else the stock market's doing well. Like ours are doing rather badly. Oh, okay. Why? Because what happened? People look at Britain, they sit there and say, um, actually, your companies aren't doing quite at the place where, where these other ones are. Yes. So we're... Um, investing elsewhere around the world and it's we're worried mm. that actually more companies may leave the uk market and go elsewhere right the london stock market needs a radical change you go back to its basic roots what's it there for raise money yeah. local money for local business for local business that's what it's there to do right and it forgot to do that mm. in 1945 ludicrously we had 45 stock exchanges in this yeah. country which, which are a waste of time right you know, people covered in red braces all over the place you don't <laughs> need them including yes. me um and, but then we ended up with seven in big regional centers yes and they raised money for those right. places and a public share offering was exactly that, wasn't it? Yes. You put yourself out on the stock exchange to raise money to start a company. Absolutely. Which you could then invest and in, 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 in use the money to employ people. Yeah, and we did that out in Scotland. That's where we started, what yeah. eventually became AIM. And right. it was all those little high-tech businesses doing high-tech games. Well, they right. weren't very high-tech. glorified glorified ping-pong in yes. those days. Yes, right. Um, but they, what they did was raise... The Rockstar few... Games, I think, was the Scottish yes. uh, place that went absolutely bananas. Went it nuts, did. didn't it? Absolutely. And that's mm. where it all started. It was very mm. simple stuff, very straightforward. And we are very good at tech stuff. Yeah. The trouble is, all these the, our tech centres, mostly around the, uh, the um, universities around the country, they start with little businesses like that, and that's great. And then, of course, the Americans come along and say, that's cracking good stuff. I said, well, why do you buy it California? Yeah. And off they go. Mm. So we, we start them. We don't grow them. Yes. That's what we should be trying to do. Encourage people to say, but stay isn't here. isn't that a thing here. now, though? Because I, I know a lot of people who have sort of started many businesses, and sometimes they only start the business because they hope that it will be bought by ah, some right. large conglomerate. Because yeah. they see that as sort of immediate growth. And yeah. they suddenly go from going, well, I started this business with, I don't know, a couple of million quid that I borrowed from the bank. But I want to sell it now to, to a big American company for 25 million oh. and then retire to my lovely place in Sandbanks and not do any more work no, for the rest no, of my no, life. No. I st started my business actually with most of the house and everything else we had actually went on that. Um, no, the whole boys was actually, um, idea was to actually create a long term return yes. for people and to be able to do that not as a short term mm. flash and flesh and fan then when i had, had to retire because i'd written in the, in the books when we started off when the old farts get to 65 yeah. they should start off right unfortunately i forgot age about what age yeah well, I was. you can't afford to do that now <laughs> can you? you have to work till about 80. Uh, i've got some breaking news for you because there's always breaking news on this show this is the place you get to hear it breaking news i want to get your view on this justin premier in owner whitbread has said it will axe around 1500 jobs across the uk amid plans to slash its chain of branded restaurants by more than 200 in favour of building more hotel rooms. Now, interesting that, because I was going to point you to a, a report yeah. uh, in, a, uh, in the Daily Mirror today. The Deloitte poll has found 20% of people are now spending less on drinking in pubs and bars. The high, sky high cost of living means that um, uh, the, the, the amount of spending drinking in pubs declining by 6% from the previous quarter. So there's the confidence in going out and spending money is gone. It wasn't there. What mm. they did was actually quite right. Whitbread, we used to be known for breaking beer and brewery and all that stuff. Don't do any yeah. of that anymore. It's all to do with now uh, cheap hotels. Yeah. And actually perfectly good you know, hotels, cheap and cheerful stuff. Yeah. Um, what they did was in quite a lot of them put in restaurants as well. Yeah. The idea of being getting to get other people in, yeah, and unfortunately that just wasn't the case. The thing was perfectly all right, mm. but they weren't getting the same margins. They were getting for the bedrooms, yeah. So I actually, focus much more on actually on cheap and cheerful places to stay. And I have to say, when I was running my businesses, that's where we stayed. It was actually very sure. good indeed. But fifteen hundred people is a lot across that's the a lot UK. That's a lot. to go. And so presumably that means they're closing a load of restaurants. Yeah, and mm. that'll be those will be people who've actually got you know, obviously some special specialisation. Yeah. And if they're doing that, uh, look at the rest of it as well. Remember yeah. the past twenty years. Yes, we've really expanded 
into the retail sector, uh, all those high streets and shopping centres and things like that. So if Whitbread is doing this, uh, have a look around, right. turn around, see who else is going to be doing the same. And this is the problem, isn't it, across the nation? Because when people say, oh, I work from home now and I you know, contribute to the local economy, yeah. well, not quite in the same way as you would have done if you were coming into a major city. You know, And I see an awful lot of um, local economies not exactly thriving, You know, where lots of you know, charity shops exist in a high mm. street, not very many, um, and quite a few closed businesses which have not reopened, yep. quite a few shop fronts which are empty. You know, even in places like Canary Wharf, you still see um, you know, some of the stalls there not occupied. They, I, I, I was actually fr really quite shocked by the amount I saw. I saw about a quarter of them yeah. hadn't reopened again. Yeah. Um, and that really is devastating mm. for that. Then going down the high streets as well, you're seeing a similar sort of thing. It's taken about six months to work its way through. Mm. And certainly down in West London, I was really shocked by the number of closed yes. items there. Right. And you just saw, you said, charity shops, those other ones have maybe got some mm. support to stay open. Um, but where's the confidence to say, I'm going to go and open up locally? Yes. Um, and it's not there at and the moment. And again, you know, Jeremy Hunt, to go back to where we started, he's talking about giving tax cuts to people. Businesses could deal with, could do with some tax cuts as well. well and need, that's not happening. You need the confidence to be able to set up a business. Why? Because quite often it's your money yeah. you're using, your right. house, you'll know that your right. family's there. And so therefore, you know, give them the support to actually get them going. Mm. And not to say, they don't need fantastic rewards at the end of it. They get reasonable rewards. Right. We get, unfortunately, the things that get the headlines, that people get millions right. at the end of it. But that's uh, the thing. But As I said, people want millions. They're yeah. not happy just to have a decent income yeah. coming in on a regular basis. It's time to actually reset the expectation mm. of actually what you're going to get out of yeah. these things, which is a perfectly good return. Yeah. Though you can get your know, bile up your, your pension money mm. in time, and that will give you a return over time, make sure it's safe and secure. Yeah. The fact you actually may think I'm going to have zillions and goes mm. to live in some sort of strange place. That's the, the problem, the, isn't it? Uh, near the, near the, the, the equator. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid that ain't going to happen. No, it isn't. Justin, good to talk to you. Justin Urquhart Stewart there. Thank you very much indeed.